Well, hello, everybody. This is John Jay. I want to talk about the uh, the fear and ignorance regarding the claim that cryptos are taxable. And so I'm sharing my screen with you right now. This is a letter. Now you can see the date on this, right? This is uh, what? Almost three years ago. Three years ago. I started asking the IRS for determination letters, oh gosh, in the late 90s for different things. But <clears throat> Because of the news and the propaganda on the internet, um, in 2018, I started asking them about what they're saying, what all this talk is on the internet. And sure enough, everything you're reading on the internet about cryptos being taxable is the direct opposite of what the IRS is saying. And the only way you would know that is if you ask the IRS itself. And there's a way to ask the IRS. Now, I do have a video on how to do this. But what I would like to promote to you today, I'm going to announce that I'm, I've taken my method of asking the IRS for a determination letter. And I'm going to sh I'm showing you the results here. <clears throat> so I sent my letter in to the IRS. This is one example. I've done like maybe 15 of these just regarding cryptos in the last maybe four years. Maybe it's a little bit more than that. This one's for May of 2019. So maybe a couple of months before this, I had asked the IRS. Now I'm going to show you what what uh, is the how the IRS responds. Okay. So it's been sanitized. So you can't see the client's name, but. What we had done is this person got a 1099 from one of the exchanges for his personal uh, account. Maybe it was Coinbase. It, it doesn't really matter, but he got a 1099. Well, this person didn't sell any coins for dollars. He was just trading them and trading them and trading them and the account became worth more and more and more. So maybe he started with $10,000 and now they're worth $27,000, for example, okay? What I wanna show you is how you can ask or how your CPA, if he's so willing or she's so willing, to ask the IRS to correct a 1099, this is how you do it. I'm announcing that today I've published a two-part video series explaining how to do this. And I've given you the complete documents that you can use and the method of doing this that you can get the same results that I have and you don't have to take my word for it. Okay, so this is available through privacyfight.io. And you have to join the members or log into your membership area and join the inner circle. When you're in the inner circle, you can subscribe to the video series that talks about this. So there's right now there's two parts. You want to watch those two parts because we're going to do a live stream Q and A. It's going to be Monday, uh, March 21st. Yes, March 21st at 7 p.m. Eastern time. That's what we have on the books right now. And so here's what I want to show you. If you look at this example where it says, dear taxpayer, okay? And then a couple lines down, it says, we reviewed, now here's what I told the IRS in the letter. We asked for a determination letter and I said, I told the IRS what to determine. You have to do that. You're supposed to tell the IRS what it's supposed to do. And that's what I said. I told the IRS to exclude the 1099 from my client's 1040, ignore it, because it was erroneous. And so the IRS wrote back and said, we reviewed the information you provided and determined that no action is necessary on your account. In other words, yeah, we agree with you. That 1099 is going to be ignored. Therefore, you have no tax liability. Ooh, that's pretty scary, isn't it? You know, you'd be shocked to know that I've explained this to CPAs who wait, know way more about tax law than me, and they're too afraid to do this for you if you're the client. Why? Why? It's very simple. So I finally decided I'm going to publish this so that each of you can have the knowledge yourself. You can have the tools to do it. I explain the parameters, the limits of how you're to use this letter. I explain in the video uh, what you should not do with this method, okay? And exactly word for word how to do it. And then when we do the live q and I'll be able to answer any of your questions. So I hope that you join. I hope that you watch the two videos, educate yourself and know how to use the law to your advantage. Thank you very much.